it's a good thing you are. Um, it's no question online video is bigger than broadcast television today. You can look at the VOD stats in terms of how much video is watched per month on YouTube alone. It equates to more than any cable network in the United States, the amount of hours that are watched on YouTube. But when you move into live, so if we look at an all live platform like Twitch, that number duplicates and actually grows even more than that. And it's 50 billion minutes of live video is watched every month. And if, what's really interesting is the length of time. So that one video or one stream, someone will watch for close to 45 minutes, if not an hour on average, versus the typical video viewing time on a VOD, like on YouTube, is about five minutes before someone is going to move on and hop to something new or move on with their day. Uh, so live is definitely uh, not just a trend. It's something that we all should be thinking about. But I wanted to take a moment just to let you guys know, this isn't just major television broadcasters or brands or agencies that are producing this content. By far, creators like you, video makers like you, are the ones producing all this video content. Across YouTube, even on Facebook Live, which we think, really? Yes, the majority is coming from creators like you. And then of course, on platforms that are pure live, creators rule completely. Uh, they're the only ones that are streaming on there. Um, so we think about, though, creators doing a lot of VOD or video on demand. Uh, we did a little bit of research working with Tubular Insights and a few of the other online streaming platforms and services to get a feel for how they gauge the marketplace. So if we look at just the top five platforms out there, we're not looking at TikTok, some of the international platforms, just kind of the top five social platforms. They estimate the way they gauge what a, what a creator is to be 250 million people out there producing any type of content. They consider 13 million of those to be an influencer because regardless of the content they're doing, uh, they're getting at least 10,000 views uh, per month. But if we look at live content, there's probably about 2 million, and again, this is based on their research and the way they gauge the market size, that are producing something live. And then again, that could be an Instagram story, any type of quick live, even a quick Snapchat. But when you look at creators that are making a full-time living off of live video, there's only about 15,000 across these platforms. So there's a huge opportunity. Uh, there's not a lot of people doing it yet. So it's actually a great time to jump in and start, not necessarily saying, I'm gonna change everything I do and go only live, but actually leveraging live as part of your mix of what you share with your audiences. And just real quickly, it doesn't take a rocket scientist to realize why there's 20 times more engagement with a live video than VOD. People want to hang on, they want to talk to each other, they want to talk about what's happening, they want to see what's coming next, and you get much more uh, interaction and involvement with the community that is your fans or your audience. And of course, the viewing times. They're gonna stick around longer than any of the video on demand or pre-recorded content. And all that means is more dollars. It's not just advertising dollars. What we're gonna talk about is how people will have started doing live, but now how it's actually a strategic business decision because you can actually make revenue from the live stream alone. Not just from the advertising dollars that you share when you become partnered on different platforms. Not just because it's an enhancement for your brand and you might get some sponsorship or some influencer marketing dollars. But you actually can take charge of it and make money in real time by working with your audiences and in implementing certain tools. And, uh, and it's pretty exciting. And then there's another element. So money's great, but you also are creators and of yourselves. You have a huge investment in your brand, in the type of content you share, what you're producing. You want that to be discovered and you want that to be an evergreen thing. You do want to reach new audiences. You do want them to learn what it's all about. Sorry. Every platform out there values live video. There's probably about 10 different sessions that are going on this week all about how live will boost your algorithm, it will help you with searchability, it actually enhances and exposes you to similar audiences that are watching other people, whether live or VOD, with similar content. All of that does is becomes a fantastic marketing tool to drive it back to whatever your core business is. So the live is a chance to be a little bit more organic and authentic with your audience versus the very curated, 
produced content that you typically share. So it's a way to engage new people as well as engage deeper with your existing audiences to create that loyalty, to create more subscriptions, to create more concurrent viewership, which all ultimately helps your goals as, as a producer of content. So when we talk IRL, uh, there's a lot of different ways it's classified, and I see a couple people in the audience, they're probably gonna shoot me down. I look at it as very wide type of a definition. It truly is in real life. So I look at it as anything that's outside of the studio, let's say. Something that gets you away from the gaming console. Something that you're doing content-wise that's driven by yourself, your reality, what you're doing, what the audience wants you to do. It's a much more authentic way of engaging and getting out there in the world. Um, but it's crazy. <laughs> so there are people that are doing IRL streams for 10, 12, 14 hours a day. There's a ton of news recently where different platforms, people are getting banned because they're texting while they're driving and there's a whole crazy world of things that typical video makers are used to. But when you're out there in the world, it's fun, there's adrenaline, there's this great sense of community with people who are at home engaged in that activity with you that you forget, maybe I should be a little bit safer about what I'm doing, you know, maybe I'm not respecting the people that I'm interacting with. Uh, oops, I crossed the line of a term of service for one of the platforms and didn't realize it by accident, or maybe not so accidentally, <laughs> uh, seeing how far you can get away with it. Um, so it is exciting and fun, and that's really what I want to talk about today. And I'm going to bring out uh, some, some, some sisters, Bree and Katie Teresi. Uh, you guys can come out now, too, while we transition. Uh, Bree is a social media influencer. She's been on Snapchat, was one of the highest ranking users on Snapchat. Come on out, ladies. She's a model for many major brands and kind of fell into live streaming. Hi, hi guys. <laughs> and we're gonna talk a little bit about how, why, and some of the things they've learned along the way and some of the fun. So we can clap a little bit. <laughs> so I'm gonna turn this on. Give me a minute. You guys can hear me anyway, right? Yeah. Is it on? There it is. <laughs> So welcome guys. Thank you. Everybody here is interested in doing live just like you are. They all were nodding their heads and there's a couple people that are doing it already. But that means they're here thinking about it and actually gonna come into it with a plan. Yeah. Now when I talked to you about a year ago, your first live stream was accidental, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So you joined someone else's live stream. Yeah, so what happened was so we live in Hollywood, both of us, and we've always been very active on social media. It's a big part of our entire career and even what like got me initially into modeling. Um, but one day we went to this random boxing tournament and we happened to meet like a couple of the biggest IRL live streamers, a part of like their own network. And we last minute got thrown into a live stream and then got onto like a big podcast and all of that. But then what really happened was we went on a scavenger hunt. <laughs> we went on a scavenger hunt to find this like really big streamer and he was giving us like all of these clues and we finally found him and then literally from that day on we started streaming. Yeah. Because it was fun. Yeah, we had a blast. It yes. was so and we wanted to like unexpected and you get more never know what's going on. So a lot of people on Twitch, you know, they game and stuff, but there are a lot of new creators who are doing IRL streaming and mm -hmm. um, really like pushing themselves to go with the flow. And I think they see it's fun. Approach the unexpected. Yeah. So, and that's what you were saying is that it was super fun. Mm -hmm. So yeah. you said, let's do it again. <laughs> and, uh, but you said there was like this instant, not just adrenaline rush, but community. Yeah. Like the all community. instantly people were, yeah. Engaged with something. you on a completely different level than the typical social yeah. media. Yeah, it, it was crazy because we started off on YouTube and we immediately just were thrown into this community of streamers and all of their following kind of went over to us and you know, you have your Discord, your Reddit, <laughs> all of that and it's just such a community of people that, you know, in like say I was just, you know, living my life in Hollywood. I wouldn't have, I would never would have connected with these people. Mm -hmm. 
they were not the typical yeah, people. Yeah, it makes you like go up with I strangers. Be friends with. Yeah, so you know you're interacting with everyone. Yeah. And just even across the world, it's it's crazy. Yeah, and I think you even said the the you know it's surprising, but you are a little shy, and all of a sudden, even though it's just you on the camera, yeah, you didn't feel alone anymore. Never, never felt alone. Like I feel like for her though, she would just naturally do stuff. And then, it, but filming it made it even better. <laughs> like you're like, yeah. I have like a reason to like, oh, let's go talk to people. Well, like, exactly. So for me, like it pushed me out of my comfort zone. It pushed zone. you out. We made a lot. Made me like go talk to friends. friends. Yeah, really, really helped make, with, make like, more friends. Yeah, confidence. Um, Less social like anxiety. Yeah, so talk about that a little bit because yeah, well, that's cool. I mean, get out of your comfort zone. Yeah, like but that's where maybe learning along the way is not always the best. Yeah. Because you start to get excited, and you that's, don't really have a plan. That's, that's my problem. <laughs> yeah, and, it's impulsive. And then so, so, so it's exactly so yeah. it's impulsive, and you guys had to almost look at it backwards and say, okay, now I'm doing this, but I just had an oops moment. I work with a couple brands, and maybe yeah. this wasn't the best thing to do because I just went into it for fun. <laughs> Find yourself so in a situation good. that it's like. I have to think about the fact that yeah. I do want to get more jobs out of For this. sure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, so that's like one of my daily struggles. I feel like, you know, I have this model persona and then like, okay, but then she's like a live streamer too. So there are certain things that I will do like on Instagram or whatever modeling and then things that I have to be a little bit more careful while I'm live. But yeah, we've gotten ourselves into a lot of <laughs> very interesting moments. We've gone on road trips in Europe and like collected viewers. Co collected um, people, yeah. And people. That found us through our street. <laughs> yeah. Our mom was there though, so like it made it a little um, bit more We've safe. gone on road trips. <laughs> So so that means literally people were watching the stream and found out where yeah, they were. They so it's, 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 this yeah. was fun, and like you said, you had a safety net around you. Yeah. But a lot of these long format streams when you're walking around town, thinking about things like, I'm broadcasting what restaurant I'm at, or I'm yeah. broadcasting what street I'm on, or I just paid for something with my credit card and it was on the stream. The, the you know? yeah. so, uh, that's the kind of problem that happens is mm -hmm. you're in the thick of it having fun and you're like, well, yeah. maybe I shouldn't let people know exactly <laughs> where I am right now. Yeah, so we've had a little bit of problems with that in the past, especially like on YouTube. Um, Twitch, I feel like, is a little bit safer and I haven't had the same issues. Maybe it's just like a different audience. No, I, I, do, I do think that's important too because uh, there are a lot of people here that probably use multiple platforms for yeah. different things, which you should. Uh, and I think that what I've seen is the community on Twitch is more of a community. Yeah. Um, they're helpful. Yeah. Uh, like I said, you got fell into it. It's not like you had a whole rig, you knew what you were using, you knew what technology, <laughs> yeah. you knew what software to use. But the people in the community actually helped you along oh, the way. Oh yeah. Versus, let's say YouTube, where there's a great live opportunity because there aren't that many mm -hmm. people leveraging oh, yeah. it yet. But YouTube could really be the VOD clip highlight reel of your crazy <laughs> adventures on Twitch that helps yeah. drive to yeah, that platform. Sure. So, and vice using versa. both platforms yeah. is really, really important. But I even say that I see this highlights. a lot in streamers, <laughs> especially they lack kind of attention uh, like on Instagram their other on their other social media platforms really so it's, you know it's important to be focusing on everything because there's opportunity in everything yeah. right so and and I, I know I don't want to go too far down that rabbit hole but it is <laughs> definitely producing for the platform so I, I think a lot of people here get that yeah which is awesome I think a lot of people that started IRL streaming exactly that did it for the fun but there's a lot of them now that are getting more savvy to realize a lot of the influencer marketing agencies don't measure live in terms of for sponsorships or brands, mm -hmm. but the live actually can help them work better with brands, For sure. but they need to have the rankings on certain social media platforms in order to get noticed or recognized. And we are seeing a lot more IRL streamers upping their Instagram mm -hmm. game because it helps them get visibility and ranking in that world to get visibility for the fact that they're getting 10,000 concurrent viewers during a stream. And that's considered a decent, good stream. To me, that's considered a fantastic stream as a marketer. I'm lucky if I can get like 100 people to tune into my Facebook Live from a trade show. So, and those are people who like me already. So, uh, it's, it's kind of amazing the amount of eyeballs and attention you can get while live, especially yeah. in the longer format stuff. 
So tell me, I mean, when you started, did you just dove right into an yeah. hour, two hour, three hour we long stream? Dove into IRL. Yeah, yeah we would go, go out every single day Hollywood Boulevard. without a plan. No, but, yeah, no. Sometimes plan. you would have like a but little really bit. But really, we just go outside. We would just go out yeah. and just like interact with yeah. anyone we came in contact we with. Just do crazy stuff. Yeah, no, just like like always like prank each other. Or so yeah. how did you get roped into it then? Together. We together, you just fell into it together. Yeah. yeah, that's awesome. Yeah. So it is. No, but I told you I wanted to go meet this person. <laughs> oh, and I thought she was crazy. I'm like, I don't want to meet this. And guy. I like, was like, come on. I'm like, you don't like you shouldn't meet someone at nighttime like on a scavenger hunt. But and then I'm like, you shouldn't go alone. So I yeah. went with her, and then it was like the weirdest day ever. <laughs> well, and that's and that's what you typically see are the, the the weird, wild, crazy. It things. was fun though. But I do like the idea of the the buddy system too, because yeah. you do have someone that can help moderate the chat, because that's you know uh -huh. that's one yeah. of the, the most amazing thing is that interaction. Yeah. That I've I've been with some IRL streamers and literally their chat is blowing up while they're walking, talking, doing stuff. I don't know how they can do both. I don't know, maybe it's a couple of the guys here can explain it to me, but they like uh, run into things. having a buddy <laughs> system is great because they are along for that ride with you. Those people at home, wherever they are and watching, yeah. they're out on the street with you and are basically engaging in real time, yeah. nonstop. How do you keep up with that? Or we like we take a friend along too. Like yeah. it's good to have some that sometimes a some that films you. Yeah, makes um, it a lot I think easier. it's just that's when you you realize you're totally you're totally in it, and it's like almost like people in the app of the real world like that you're running into sometimes don't matter because the chat takes over everything. Yeah. Like I'd rather kind of look at what's going on than yeah yeah. But I think at the same time. Sometimes that's why it's important to throw in desktop streams too, because it allows you to really sit down and read everything. Because you know when you are walking and going on adventures, you obviously can't be right. reading. You have to like glance every once in a while. Or sometimes what I'll do is um, I'll read the chat, and Katie will stream, or vice versa. Um, yeah. Um, well, it almost brings up another point where you say you almost forget about the real world that yeah. you're in. Um, you've also said you forget about taking care of yourself in the real world too because once you start streaming like this and you have these fans yeah. there's like almost an obligation to them to yeah. keep streaming and keep engaged that what happens about your own real personal life yeah I think like especially when we first started especially, streaming. like if, um, relationships and stuff. like they'll, they'll, you don't know what they're watching Okay, uh, we had we had, yeah, we had stuff like that. And you'll say something on accident, and then you'll make me forget. Let's take it. I was talking more like you mentioned that you used to cancel dates. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 We canceled cool. a date on. Well, uh, not we. Uh, we did. She, yeah. One of us. We don't do the same person. Um, I canceled a date because I needed to go decorate somebody's hotel room for a stream. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> they got kicked out of their house, and I'm like, okay, we gotta do this. I'm so sorry. So, they, so the, the, the viewers, because of that relationship, with oh, yeah, they're like, yeah, you have to, you have to yeah. cancel, and everyone's yeah. like, free cancel their date. Yeah, yeah they, they 